Today, Joe and I are going to show you how to install this potty training seat because we have grandchildren that are potty training. We're gonna do that by showing you how to remove the easy clean hinges of this Bemis toilet seat. Before we get started, I'm gonna let you know we're gonna leave a link to this particular toilet seat in the description below. The first thing we're going to do is remove the easy clean hinge toilet seat completely from the toilet. So if you are not wanting to put a potty training toilet on and wanting to do a exact exchange, then we, I'm going to leave a video um, in the description below and the link above uh, to help you be able to accomplish that. Let's go ahead and unlock the easy lock hinges. And to do that, you can look on the hinges. There is little locks. That one is in the lock position. And then you have the unlock. So we're gonna turn it to unlock because that's what we want to do. So now that you can see they're in the unlock position, you're going to put your hands on either side of the toilet seat and just give it a little gentle rock and you'll be able to take the seat off. We're gonna go ahead and remove the bolts. The great thing about the Easy Clean is the nuts and bolts are easy to remove. You can use a screwdriver or a cordless screw gun, which that's what we're gonna do. And, and see how easily the nut fell off? We're gonna go ahead and do this one too. And you gotta get your, there you go. And that's really all there is to it. So we've taken everything out of the box. We have our toilet seat here and we have the parts to attach the toilet seat to the bowl. So what we're gonna do is prep the hinges and the parts that go with the hinges. This is going to, this is the bolt. It has arrows on the top. We want the arrows going parallel with the oval. And see how it has a little, little cross there on the bottom? So there is one prepped. We're gonna go ahead and prep the other one. Making sure the arrow is going the right direction. So now that we have that done, we're gonna move down here to the hinges. We're gonna open the hinges. These are soft close hinges. So um, these are in a good position. We're gonna take our prepped bolts and receiver and then we're gonna slide. See how the arrow goes? We're gonna slide this in here, just like so. And there we go. Before we actually put the seat onto the toilet bowl, I wanted to show you from this vantage point because it'll be a little bit easier for you to see. We are gonna take this nut and screw it onto the bolt, just like this. We're probably gonna have to use our crescent wrench to tighten it up, um, but this is what we're getting ready to do. Now we're gonna put the toilet seat onto the toilet bowl, and we're gonna take these bolts and line them up on these holes here. And I always like to, you know, put my hands on the side of the seat and go around the toilet bowl to make sure that it's straight. Then we're gonna take our nuts and we're going to screw them onto our bolts underneath. Now that we've tightened the nuts onto the bolts with our crescent wrench, we're going to snap the caps onto the hinge, just like so. And we're gonna open up our soft close lid toilet seat. And we're going to let down the little seat for little bottoms. We're gonna raise this up. And I picked this one because it has this nice magnet feature. So the little seat 
doesn't fall down onto your back. And now we have a nice big seat for our bigger bottoms. If you like this video, please be sure to give us a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching.